Good morning, good evening, good night, wherever you are. Today, we've got a really quick tip for you. I've already even made my coffee this morning. I've even gone for the frothy top for my coffee this morning, so I'm really excited to uh, be sharing this coffee with you. This one is uh, day eight, and it's modern standard, which I'm really liking the smell of so far. I've not tried it just yet. But what I want to do today is a really quick tip, and that's how to add a shape to... Um, or a, a photograph if you like to a circle or a different shape or something like that so let's dive into Canva and get started oh that is a nice coffee this morning really enjoying that one so here we are we're in Canva and you'll see from this thumbnail that you've clicked on to see this video we've got this image and we've got a couple of different things in frames now this isn't the same image it was just to kind of illustrate something else going into a frame so let me create a new page and all we're going to do is we're going to come down to elements and under elements you've got all sorts of different frames that you can add or use for your shapes now you see you've got a couple of different shapes up here but and you might have scrolled down a little bit but as you keep scrolling under frames you get all sorts of other shapes and frames and things like that that you can put other things in you've even got words or letters should I say so you could make up words using these letters and you've got different styles of letters as you scroll down you've got all sorts of different kind of like other kind of like funky frames and things like that and it's something I thought you might not have seen before that is really good you can like add these kind of like doorway frames and these doorway frames are really good to kind of like if you've got like a landscape image uh, or something like that you want to kind of like frame it in a doorway or something like that I really like those but all you do is you choose the one that you want to use so we're going to use this one it looks almost like a bit of a, a snow globe I'd say and if you've not noticed I've updated my backdrop we've even got a couple of uh, elf on the shelves and a couple of little gonks I call them gonks do you know these as gonks I don't know so what we've got is we've got that on the frame there. All we're going to do is we either come to our uploads where we'll have uploaded our own image and we can just drag that on or you can come to photos. I'm just going to use a random photograph um, here. So this one is this one. And what you do is you just drag it on and you, yeah, it's there. Now, if you're not happy with the way it frames, what you can do is you can just double click and you can then change the framing. What you can't do is you obviously you can't make it smaller. If your image is kind of like this big, it's going to fill it top to bottom. You can't make it any smaller than that. But what you can do is you can move it around. You can make it bigger. So if I wanted to kind of just emphasize this bit in the middle, I could do, you know, and things like that. But you just come in, come to your elements, choose the frame that you want, put your image in there. And it's as simple as that. Really simple quick tip for you today and a couple of people have asked what coffees I'm drinking I'm drinking they are by a company called Secret Caffeine Club I'll put a link down below to the Secret Caffeine Club and if you want to buy me a coffee as well I'll put a link down below where you can buy me a coffee if you really want to say thank you for all these videos don't have to really appreciate you being here and following me on this journey just drop me a comment down below say hello say good morning good evening good night let me know what you're up to today and until next time bye for now